can't believe we've reached 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Isn't that crazy? To celebrate, we're doing a giveaway and one of you could win this. But we need to paint it first. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. I promised to do a giveaway if we hit that milestone and subtly asked you a load of questions. In the first poll, I asked what you'd like to receive, whether that's prints, merch, random gifts, or original art, and you chose original art. Then I asked you what kind of art you like, and the winner by 34% was portraits. But second place wasn't too far off. Second place was funny or silly, and that got 23%. There was also landscape, surreal, and abstract but they were all below 20. So we're gonna do a portrait and try and make it a little bit funny or silly. I did some random sketches. I was kind of thinking frogs because frogs are the perfect silly animal. I also didn't want to go too silly like a frog on someone's head because even though I like the idea this canvas is probably gonna end up on a wall so it needs to be nice enough to put up on a wall. Honestly though I am so relieved that you picked portraits. Like can you imagine if you didn't? I mean portraits are my art style. If not a single one of you chose them, that would be a little bit awkward. I then did these sketches in pen so it's a little bit easier to see. A kind of princess queen vibe, something to do with like a star and light, and then a person holding a frog. We're painting a portrait that is a little bit funny and silly, and we're actually going to be trying some new art supplies. I have absolutely fallen in love with acrylic markers, so I've actually got some new ones. We've got some fun new acrylic markers to try out, but these ones are are a little bit different. These acrylic markers were kindly sent by Artex. Let's open them up. These have been wrapped crazy well. Oh, I believe this is the new set that they've only just released. Oh, oh, that's a little bit glittery. Let me figure out how to open it. There we go. Oh, oh, so it goes like like that, I presume. This is the new 48 set of SimTap markers. I love that these ones actually have the numbers on so we don't have to do a million stickers again. I'm really not sure what order this is in because we've got like pink, yellow, green, blue, red, green, purple just on the first row so I'm gonna say that there's no order in the slightest. Oh, that's fine, I like to make my own anyway. Okay so it looks like we need to shake it and then press down the end. I think you can tell it needs a shake because the pigment is kind of pink and yellow. They kind of look more artist grade than the other one so I'm really excited to try these out. I think first we're gonna have to give them a good shake and then do swatches. Last time I kind of went straight in because we had like four pages of art to create but this time we've just got the one canvas and it's for one of you. I want to make sure I get this right so we need to do swatches. I had a feeling this was going to be a bit of an ordeal so we have a technique. Grab as many markers as I can in both hands, give them a good long shake, then reorder and do the swatches. But of course there were some difficulties. For starters, the little end caps came off really easily, like pretty much every time I moved a pen in the box. And the second problem, quite a big one, the box has no dividers, making it an absolute pain to try and reorder these pens. The box comes with a stand, but whether it's upright or on its side, if you remove a pen, everything will still fall down. And the pens wobble everywhere. So that wasn't a great design in all honesty. It really needs some dividers. I mean if it had a grid that would be perfect. I guess it's fine if you're only using one or two pens but as you'll soon see we're going to be using pretty much every colour to paint this canvas so the pens kind of end up everywhere. Unfortunately we are missing some of this swatching footage for the sole reason that I had no clue how much time had passed. It never felt like 10 minutes, so the camera kept switching off before I could notice. Some of the pens were definitely a lot easier to activate than others. They all worked and got there eventually, but some really did take their time. I found the easiest way was to have several pens on the go, press down each one and move on so they have a little more time to start working. One thing I will say though is that if you have any kind of difficulties with your hands, it might be best if you try 
tried to find someone that can help you. There are 48 pens in this set and each one took at least five presses to get it started. So towards the end, my hands were hurting. You would not believe how long this took, even longer than the stickers in the last set, way longer. I put on a two hour long movie and there was only 20 minutes left by the time I finished. That's the swatches all done and how cool are these paints looking? I can't wait to properly use them. Now we're gonna move on to the canvas. This is what we're gonna be painting. It's a portrait of a woman with a frog. So we've got the silly elements in. Super excited to get started and working on this canvas. I'm choosing something that looks like a skin tone, though honestly, I have been struggling with markers and skin tones. Because I come from a watercolor background where I just throw blue, yellow, and red together and it magically makes a skin tone. Yeah, I don't really know how to do that with markers. I haven't yet figured it out. We're starting with what's closest, filling it all in, and hoping that layering is going to be the way forward. I had no idea what colors we'd be using. Sometimes I like to create art with feeling. Until I did the swatches, I didn't know what the colors would look like. And even after I'd made the swatches, I think it's still very difficult to visualize what those little swatches will actually look like on a person. I knew the frog would be green, obviously, and I kind of wanted the background to be purple. So what colors does that leave for the hair? I'd like it to be fun and colorful, but green and purple are already taken and pink feels a little bit odd since I have pink hair. So that leaves blue. We're painting crazy blue hair and just hoping it will look good. I've never used acrylic markers on canvas, but the little scratchy noises that the pens make were actually super satisfying. I've already added several layers of gesso, so the pens worked really well on the canvas. I actually don't own a single canvas myself that I've painted. I've made a couple for other people, but never for myself. And I don't know why, I guess it's because they feel special. And that's why I've picked one today. It's a celebration, and I think it's so special to receive a canvas. And I hope one of you will feel exactly the same when you open this parcel. I'm adding in that purple background and going for a slightly abstract look. I had the idea of painting ribbons in my head for weeks. I don't know why, and I don't know if it even works. I thought it would look cute. We're going to need to add a lot more layers to try and make this face look good. It's not exactly that it looks patchy, it's just very yellow and it needs definition. But it was also at this point that I realized maybe it looks odd because it needs some line work. Now this isn't actually something that I tend to do very much with watercolor. I like my art looking loose and flowy, but since I've started using alcohol and acrylic markers, I've come to realize that a lot of the time they just look kind of weird without lines. I don't know what it is, but it usually just looks better. And in this case, I think I agree. I'm reaching for a brown to add in some eyebrows, eyelids, and nose, all those key features, and it's immediately looking better, right? A face just appeared out of nowhere. A problem I did find is that some of the paint markers were very flowy, like dripping. The white and cream colors in particular had so much liquid pouring out that they were visibly cracking on the canvas. Like, I had to remove some of the paint with kitchen roll because so much was pouring out. Since they're both light shades, I guess this is a formulation issue. Maybe they'll settle a little bit more once they've been stored upright for a while. Earlier on, I had a feeling that these paints are more professional grade than the Artex 60A and 60B markers, and I think I was correct. These ones are a lot more juicy and can be harder to handle, but I think there's a place for both. The previous set is perfect for something like my daily doodle diary because I can just grab one quickly, I can doodle, they're ready to go, and they do dry quite quickly too. However, these markers are probably best used how we're using them now, as a final piece and a substitute for acrylics. Both the SimTap and 60 sets are very different, 
so you can easily have and use both. Honestly, I love both of them in different ways. I can't really compare them because these ones are a lot closer to tubes of acrylic than markers, so if that's what you're into, then these could be perfect for you. Since this is a 5k celebration, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to talk to you about some goals and the direction that Chantal Arts is going in, especially if you're new here. Hi, welcome. For starters, I love making YouTube videos. I plan to continue for as long as I can. I upload new videos every Thursday and Sunday. I got a second camera for Christmas and that has been a game changer. It's allowed me to create videos in a more vlog-like format and I'm loving the direction that my videos are going in. Like the changing camera angles and just how easy this digital camera is compared to my DSLR. I would love to keep growing here on YouTube and also hosting giveaways if we meet other milestones. I already have a ton of ideas in mind for different ways to improve the videos I create going forward, but I really hope that you are also liking this new format just as much as I am. There's also lots of other ways in which I'd love to grow as an artist and content creator. Firstly, I'd love to have my own physical shop selling prints and stickers. It's an investment that I'm hoping I'll be able to do in future. I've already wanted to for so long, but haven't been in the position to, unfortunately. Really, I'm not doing great with my art goals for this year, but I do still plan on starting an email newsletter too. I think I got really behind on my goals when I bought a house, because ever since then, I've spent my time working on the house and trying to catch up with video editing, because I did get quite far behind. So I haven't really had the time for other things, to be honest. Hopefully things will be a bit more settled now though, going into the cooler months. In future, I'm intending to start a Patreon, beginning with digital tears only, and then expanding to physical as well, hopefully. Another thing I'd love to do in future is to create my own colouring book. For a long while, I've thought of creating a mermaid-themed colouring book, since I've created a lot of mermaids over the years. I'm thinking of taking part in Mermaid next year. Since I enjoy monthly challenges, we actually have one coming up in October. I think if I prep some ideas and themes that I'd like to include that are different from the previous Mermaid that I did, then, I mean, come June, I should have like 70 mermaids created that I can choose from and turn into digital drawings for a coloring book. It's gonna be a really fun project and I can't wait to get started. What do you think? Does that sound like a cool idea? Back to the painting, I opted for pink eyes because they're cute and they match the ribbon in the background nicely. We've already used a lot of colors, so I'm finding it difficult to decide the color of the clothes. I'm opting for orange because we can't use red. Originally, I was intending to extend the background to the edge of the canvas, but then I thought, wait, why don't I paint it a random bright color? I've seen other artists do this, but I've never done it myself. I mean, I rarely paint on canvases, so I've not really had the opportunity to, but it seems fun. We're going to be painting the edge of the canvas bright red. I'm adding a few more details to the face and the hair, and now we need to move on to this cute little frog. It needs to be green, so there's only really two options. I'm choosing the darker shade, which honestly might have been a mistake, but now that the frog is painted, this piece is really starting to come together. The clothes need a little bit more definition, though I think the orange top is now giving jumper. Wasn't exactly what I was going for, but I'll take it. I don't know if you noticed, but I actually used the silver metallic marker for the earrings, and the shine is stunning. I can't wait to show you at the end. All that's left is to make the frog look a bit more like a frog. Some shadows, some highlights, and big crazy eyes. Frogs have strange eyes. I haven't quite figured figured out how I would like to draw them in my art style yet, so we're just gonna go with it. Sometimes they have round pupils, sometimes they're more like lines, sometimes they're upwards, others sideways. I haven't quite figured out what's cutest yet. We're just gonna go with the flow and hope it isn't looking too alien-like. And now for the final step, painting that gorgeous red border. I wanted to create a special piece of art for this celebration 
in and I think we've achieved that. And I love the little silly touch that this portrait has. We're all done and this is what the completed painting looks like. Isn't it cute? I've used all my favorite colors for this piece. So if you'd like to get your hands on this canvas, here's how to enter the giveaway. First, subscribe to this channel, Chantel Arts. Second, give this video a like. And thirdly, comment down below what your favorite colors are. The giveaway will be open for a few weeks and closing on this date where I'll pick a winner at random and announce it to my channel and socials. I'll try my hardest to track down the winner but if they haven't responded within a week we will have to pick another. This has been a lot of fun and I want to keep doing giveaways. I want to be able to give back to you for all of your support. That's enough from me. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in a few days time with a new video. Bye bye!